What up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Drigo. What this video is about is about trading up. It's about how do you move on to the next client when you're just starting out, you're doing these small projects. How do you get to the next level? And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So let's get right to it. So what is trading up? Trading up is the act of every time you're working on a project, you wanna be leveling up. So I think for a lot of us, when you guys are starting out, and I've been talking about, you know, doing these projects for free. You start off with people that you know. So this could be family, friends. And these are the people that, you know, you're just reaching out to about doing videos for free. You're pretty much trying to build expertise. And you're charging pretty much no money for this. You're just getting experience. So, now you've done a couple of these videos and for the most part, these videos are gonna be, you know, just B-roll, promo videos, things that you're just, you know, pretty much, I'll call it not a lot of effort and just you're getting more acquainted with the camera and the concept of shooting. So you do a couple of these and the next one you go now, now people start talking about you, you know, your friends and family or like, hey, I got this guy that does videos for me. He's pretty good, it's cheap, it's free, whatever. So from there, you start talking to other business owners. Other business owners, right? And now you're charging, you know, 200 bucks, $300. This is your, call it your 200. It's a $500. Your 200 to $500 video. Here we're working for free building expertise, learning how to work with people. Now you're dealing with business owners. Now you're doing these 15, 30 second Instagram videos and you know, you're know you out there just trying to shoot something cool. Here, you're just trying to learn and when you're trading up, you're gonna do business owners, you're starting to get a little bit more money. Now, the thing is, the way that you guys can move up a lot faster is when you're shooting these two to $500 videos, you want to be creating a $1,000 video. Here's the thing about that. When you do more than what you paid for, eventually you'll be paid more for what, more than what you do. So for a lot of the stuff that I did for free when I started out, um, you know, I was making these free videos that look like $200 to $500 videos. When I started shooting $200 to $500 videos, I started to create videos that look like $1,000. Why? Because the next person, the next business that you work for, they don't know how much you paid. So the thing is, it's all perceived in the value that you're creating. So if you're creating this video and the video looks like it's a thousand dollars, you can be like, hey, how much was that video? You could tell them it was a thousand bucks. So for a lot of you guys that know, I always talk about the dentist that I, I did my first video for. And you know, that video was free. The next video that I did for a dentist, it was $1,800, right? So I know I've, I've gotten shit about this in the past, so I didn't go from, you know, the one dentist to $1,800. In between that, I shot a lot of other videos for 750. I shot other videos for $500. But those all got me the skills necessary for me to learn about audio, learn about lighting. So when the opportunity arrives for the $1,800, I was able to jump on that. So those are the things you gotta learn how to seize those opportunities. Now, what is the difference between, you know, this video when you're leveling up to that one is gonna be the quality of your work. So when you're working on these projects, this is where you have that room to fuck up, right? Like for that um, dentist video, the first one that I did, the lighting was horrible, um, audio wasn't great. I was still learning about audio settings and things like that. So in between that, I started shooting other interviews and then from those interviews when audio got better, and I start editing more projects. And that's when that opportunity arrives for the $1,800. I was able to capitalize on that. But you have to do the work in here, right? So I think when you're starting off, you wanna learn your gear. But 
learn your gear. You want to learn, like literally, if you were, if your eyes were closed and you had to scroll through the back of your camera menu, how comfortable are you with your camera menu? How comfortable are you with pushing your ISO to the limit that, you know, you know that you can get good footage out of or to the limit that there's no more good footage that's not usable. This is where you start learning all these different things, right? Learn your gear. When you start working on these projects, you start working on your craft. So here you learn your gear, you move up, you learn your craft next. And you start learning your craft, and this is gonna be lighting, learning more about audio, learning more about camera movement, start studying movies that you like. You know, I'm a really big fan of Mindhunters. Sending it to the client, sweet. Um, I'm a really big fan of Mindhunter. I love how he moves the cameras, how you start doing lightings. Start taking, I like watching movies on my computer because I love doing screen grabs of frames that I like, and I wanna reverse and study those frames, what kind of lighting, what they're using, what was the motion of the camera, how did he draw you in? This is where you're gonna start learning this, right? The craft, because to a $200 to $500 video, if you messed up on it, it's not that big of a deal, you can recuperate. When clients start paying you, you know, the $1,500 more, it gets a little bit more tricky when, you know, you messed up because you have to come back and fix this. So, now that we've moved up to, you know, we worked on the gear or learning our gear, learning the craft, and then we're gonna start working on our business. So, you know, on the transition from this to that, there's really not a lot that happens other than you being more confident in what you're doing. And when you start getting into this area, when you start charging more money, you want to start niching down. So what do we, what do I say about niching down? So for us, you know, we work with a lot of, you know, call it corporate, you no know, talking heads, dentists, service-based businesses. That's who we niched on and that's who our business is focused on. If you go to my website, I am talking to those business owners. You know, things that we don't normally do are gonna be like, you know, we don't do real estate. Smarter's dying. So we don't really, we do, we don't really do real estate. That's something that you won't find on our website. We don't do cooking videos. We don't do events. We don't do weddings. You know, we pretty much wanted to eliminate that from our website. We wanted to really show people like, hey, if you're a business and you're looking to create video content, we want to work with you on that. You know, if you want to have your bar mitzvah recorded or you need headshots for, you know, your school, like we don't do that. And that's where the transition becomes when you're able to start asking for more money. So, and the same thing goes that applies to this theory here that, you know, when I start producing these $1,800 videos, I was creating videos that look like they were $3,000 plus. Because that was a perceived value that I wanted to show my other potential clients. I didn't want to be stuck here because what I learned from working with Chris is that the videos that you're making here are not much different than the other videos you're doing here. You're just talking to a totally different client. And then what starts happening here, when you start asking for more money, you start getting more involved into the client's business and you start wanting to get Right here, what starts mattering the most for our business owners are gonna be results. What kind of results are they getting from that $3,000 investment or $2,000 investment, whatever it might be. Because this is how you're able to ask for money. Because now you're helping them solve a problem. And I think when you're starting out, we're here just trying to make pretty videos and we're just happy to get a client. But as we move forward, we start realizing that we are helping our clients solve their problems. And for that, we're able to ask for more money.
the concept itself, it's no, it's not something that needs to be that complicated, but it's also just the fact of like, you know, you need to work on your business in this progress and you can't look at me and see me doing this and then expect to be there when you haven't learned your gear, when you haven't learned your craft, when you haven't worked on your business. You know, these are all steps that you have to take to get yourself there. But, you know, the work is still all the same. It is just how much you're charging for it, who you're talking to. So, you know, that's gonna be the video here. Uh, if you guys found this helpful, if you wanna learn more things like this, let me know in the comment. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and then I'll uh, see you guys next time. Peace.